All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash, double honest apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honestly, you are that are pushing out this truth all over the earth. This is 2021 year of hastening. All right, this is from CNN. The title was a U.S. saw significant crime rise across major cities in 2020. And it's not letting up. And why is it not letting up? Okay, because we are at the end. We are at the end of the society. The society is, crum is crumbling, man. All right, crime is going up. All right, when you go to 2 Timothy, the, thir the third chapter, which we're going to pull out, you know, Timothy's, Timothy, he said that uh, in the last days, it will be perilous times, all right, which are dangerous times. And that's where we're at right now. All right. You're seeing a lot of crime rise. OK. And, and it's not letting up. All right. And when you go to 2 Ezra 16, what did, what did Ezra say, man? Because he saw the vision of this place, man. He saw the arrows. All right. He saw which are the missiles, you know, um, you know, he saw this place destitute of men. All right. The plagues. OK. You know, the thorns, you know, growing up, you know, growing on the side of the street. He saw all that stuff, man. And, you know, that reminds me of I Am Legend. But we're going to get into that as well. But these prophets, man, they saw the times that we we're in right now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this article. Uh, we're going to jump around a little bit. It's a very long article. Uh, of course, this link will be in the description box. But I just want to hit some, you know, hit some key points on this article. But um, man, this just proves that we are in the last days, man. All right, and this is it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So major American cities saw a 33% increase in homicides last year as a pandemic, pandemic swept across the country. Millions of people joined protests against racial injustice and police brutality, and the economy collapsed under the weight of the pandemic. Yeah, and that also goes back to, you know, there should be an uproars of the people. Going back to 2nd Ezra's 9th chapter, man, you know, the uproars of the people in the world, and you have that. You know, these protests, man, they're going on literally every day all around the world, man. All right. Because the Heavenly Father has put it into the minds of the people to start paying attention to the government affairs, to, to really start looking into the politics and stuff like that. All right. And basically seeing the corruption, you know. All right. And you have a lot of anti-lockdown protests going on. So it's definitely here, man. All right. So the police brutality and the economy it collapsed under the weight of the pandemic, a crime surge that has continued into the first quarter of this year. 63 of the 66 largest police jurisdiction. And you see, you see the, you know, within this, this, uh, um, this paragraph right here, you see the 666, all right? That's what Esau deals with. You know, this whole world is under the vibration of Satan. You know, John said, here is wisdom, you know, let's count the number, you know, the six score. I mean, let me go ahead and grab it. I don't want to butcher it, but, um, yeah, that's what these devils do, man. They deal they deal with the 666, man. All right? You know, these people, man, are un under the vibration of Satan. All right, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. All right, Revelations 13 and 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. So we have understanding. We know what Esau is doing, man. We're not ignorant to his devices, man. Why do you think that, you know... Um, you know, he has you stand six feet apart, man. You know, out of all the numbers, man, he chose that. Okay. On your monster drinks, you know, and, and it, it goes on and on. You know, that number 666 is right there. All right. You know, you people are, are, are under the vibration of Satan, man, especially our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, that's why the scriptures say two thirds of you have to, have to be cut off and die. And when you break down that in percentage wise, it's 66.6%. .6%. You see that? So you're under the vibration of Satan, man. So Revelations 13 and 18, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beasts. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six. Okay, and that's 666. Okay, so let's read that again. So 63 of the 66 largest police jurisdictions saw increase in at least one category of violent crimes in 2020. See that? which include homicide, rape, robbery, and abrogated, I can't pronounce that word for some reason, assault, abrogated assault, according to a report produced by Major Cities Chief Association, man, so that's, so you've been seeing a lot of that, man, during this whole pandemic, you know, people are staying at home, people are more idle, you know, they're getting into wickedness, all right, that's, that's what it was meant to do, man, okay, you know, these elites knew that they knew that, you know, them pushing out this, you know, this whole, um, you know, COVID. All right. 
that crime was going to increase, man. You people were, were going to bug out. You're going to start killing your families, raping your daughters, just all kind of matters of wickedness, man. All right. And like and like this article says, it's not letting up. All right. They're seeing more and more. But going back to the scriptures, a it's prophesied that it would be like this. All right. So it says abrogated assault, according to a report produced by major cities, chief association, Baltimore City, Baltimore County and Raylene, North Carolina did not re did not report increases in any violent crime categories yeah at least not yet all right not yet it's nearly impossible to, to attribute any year-to-year -year change in violent crime statistics to any single factor and homicides and shootings are an intensely local phenomenon can, that can spike for dozens of reasons but the increase in homicide rates across the country is both historic and far-reaching as where the pandemic and social movements that touched every part of society last year Okay, you see that, man? So I'm going to go ahead and just jump down a little bit, all right? Because it's going to break it down in, in, in uh, the major cities as far as the crime. Um, let's hit this right here. Experts point to a perfect storm of factors, economic collapse, social anxiety because of a pandemic, depolicing in major cities at the protests that called for abolition of police departments, shifts in police resources from neighborhood neighborhoods to downtown areas because of those protests. And the... And the release of criminal defendants pre-trial pre or before sentence were complete to reduce risks of C-19 spread in jails all may have contributed to the spike in homicide. So they, you know, so so they let out a lot of criminals, man. All right. And what are they going to do? There's no jobs, man. All right. There's no job. So, of course, they're going to be out there committing crimes. All right. So the C-19 seemed to excalibrate everything. Officers sometimes had to quarantine because of exposure of cases in their ranks, reducing the number of officers available for patrol, investigators, or protest coverage. It was difficult to, to impossible to keep physical distance during protests, man. So a lot of the police, man, they had to quarantine themselves. So altogether, there was a lack of police in these communities, in these neighborhoods, which resulted in an increase of crime, all right? Okay, so let's uh, let's jump down a little bit right here in Chicago, and we know Chicago, man. It's always, you know, you Jakes are always murdering each other out there, man. All right. So in Chicago, homicides are up 33% in the first three months of the year compared to 2020, while shootings are up nearly 40% for the same period year over year. In New York City, the NYPD data shows murders jumped by nearly 14% through March 28. The latest numbers the department has made public while shootings were up nearly 50 percent in los angeles homicides have increased nearly 36 percent from 67 to 91 through march 30th lapd officer rosario cervantes told cnn those three cities the, na the nation's largest also a significant increase last year over 2019 all right uh, i'm gonna just yeah let me go ahead and read this and i'll go, go to the scriptures the homicide uptick in the three cities some some as comes as chicago houston and memphis saw some of the largest surges in homicides last year with an increase of 100 or more killings compared to 2019 chicago had a single day with 18 homicides the largest number for the city on record communities that have historically experienced a greater number of shootings and homicides were also hard hit by the pandemic you see that man so again you know these are perilous times you know, crime is, is, is just on the rise, okay? And like I said, I'll put this link to this article in the description box. It's, it's a real long article, man. You know, I'm just scrolling through it. You know, as you can see, you know, it's real lengthy, all right? So for the interest of time, I'm not going to read all of it, all right? But let's go ahead and go to the scriptures, okay? You know, the first one we're going to graph is uh, Timothy, so Second Timothy's. Three. We're going to look up some of these words. Second Timothy three and one. This know also. And who is Timothy? And who is Timothy talking to, man? All right, he's talking to the man in the Lord. All right, he's not speaking to, you know, your average everyday person out there, man. All right, this is the warning for the man in the Lord. Okay, so this is how we move around. All right, this is how we prepare ourselves, man. All right, these are letters unto us. Okay, warning us. Okay, so 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also 
that in the last days, perilous times shall come. All right. So it's no more, you know, you know how we used to say, yeah, you know, these times are going to come. All right. These dangerous times are going to come, you know, in the future. You know, now nah, we're in the future now, man. You know, we're, we're in that time frame. OK, those perilous times, they are here. OK, for man, for man shall be lovers of their own selves. All right. And that's man and woman, man. And you see a lot of that, too, on these social media sites. You know what I'm saying? These, you know, these people, man, you know, man and woman posting up, you know, pictures daily, man. You know, just lovers of their own selves, like the scripture says. OK, covetedness, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. So let's go ahead and look up a couple of these words. Yeah, let's start with perilous. Okay, let's play the Greek. Strong's G, 5467. Chalipas. Chalipas. All right, hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage. All right, and a lot of you people, man, are, are fucking savages, man, you know? And you even have that video, man, you know, a music video talking about I'm a savage, man, all right? That's what our people have 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 stooped down to, man. That's the all time low, that you sit in there calling yourself a savage, man. Then it goes as far as people wearing the hats, the gear, you know what I'm saying, with with the uh, with the word savage on it, man. You know, and this is mainly you tribes, man. You do shit like this, man. All right. What did they call the Native American Indians, man? You know, Esau when he came over here and conquered them, he called them savages. Okay, so let's go ahead and look up. Let's look up savage. You know, I have the online etymology pulled up. You know, you hear a lot of this, man. You hear Jake calling themselves a savage, but you don't understand what the hell it is. Okay, savage. Check this out. Wild, undomesticated, untamed. And that's what you niggas are, man. Hey, the scriptures say you're like a wild bull caught into a net. You know, our people, you know, our, my people lay at all the corners of the city, roughly paraphrasing. You see, like a wild bull, man. You know, and they show that too, you know, in recent clips out there in Miami. All right. You know, you so-called niggas, man, you're out there going ape shit, all right? That you were able to, you know, basically let your hair down, so to speak, you know, and just get into all manners of wickedness, man, all right? They were interviewing Jake, man, and he said, we're basically not going to stop, you know, and, <laughs> until we want to stop, until we want to go home, man, just proud, man, just, just straight wickedness, man, all right? Straight wickedness, so undomesticated, untamed of animals... In places, man. You see that, man? So you you refer to an animal, okay? And you know what? The scriptures, you know, and I, and I have it pulled up, man, because I was going to go into it. Let me get it right now before I go back and read the rest of that, all right? But the Lord called you an animal. He actually called you a dog, man. Revelations 22 and 15. You know, let's go to 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. Excuse me. It may enter in through the gates into the city. That's the kingdom of heaven. For without our dogs. See that? So the, so the Lord called you people a dog. So if you're without these commandments, all right, which govern us, man. Okay. Dietary law. All right. You know, um, going back to Deuteronomy 4 and 6, man. You know, these, this is our wisdom in the sight of the nations. All right. Okay. So if you're not governed by this, it says for without our dogs and sorcerers okay and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whatsoever loveth and maketh a lie man so so if not so if being a dog wasn't worse enough the lord is calling you a sorcerer a whoremonger a sorcerer is a, you know you you participate in witchcraft you know a lot of you like to smoke weed man that's witchcraft man weed cigarettes all right drugs any manner of drugs that's all witchcraft man okay whoremongers OK, you know, selling selling women. All right. Murderers. You see that in Chicago. All right. The highest 18, uh, 18 homicides. They said the highest in record. All right. And idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. All right. Now, let's go back to this. OK, savage. All right. So it says of animals in places, savage, wild, savage, untamed strange pagan yeah you you just celebrated a pagan holiday which is easter all right 
you know, demonic, okay, of persons, the meanings, reckless, un ungovernable, okay, is a test, a test from early, early and since, in the abominable, valiant. You see that wild person? Yeah. So basically, going back to a damn animal, man, a beast. Okay, that's what our people have become. All right, and that's what you see in these last days, man. All right, it's hard to talk to Jake. You can't tell Jake anything, man. They're past, they're past, you know, wanting to know the truth, man. You niggas just want to exist in, in your wickedness, man. You know, going back to Isaiah 1 and 3, you know, Jake does not consider, you know, you do not care. You don't want to be around a person like that, man, who just doesn't give a damn about nothing. You don't stand for nothing. You don't have no morals. You know, a man is supposed to stand for something. And not only he's supposed to stand for it, but he's supposed to die for what he believes in, you know? You're just supposed to stand up for the truth. All right. The script said, who's going to stand up for me against the evildoers? You know, who's going to do that? All right. You know, only the man of the Lord, the man that you see out there, starting with our apostles of Great Millstone, you know, elders on down. All right. Are standing up for the Heavenly Father, man. Okay. You know, let me go ahead and grab that real quick. You know, who's going to stand up for me? Okay, my phone is loading. Let me um let's look that up real quick. Because only the men of the Lord are gonna stand are gonna stand up, man, are gonna receive this truth. The spirit is gonna be in them to stand up against the evil. Okay. So that's Psalms um it's 94 and 16, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. So <clears throat> Psalms 94. Excuse me real quick. Let me drink this real quick. Mouth is dry. Slocky. Yeah. All right. Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me? against the workers of iniquity all right so who's going to do that the men of the lord man that have these secrets going back to amos 3 and 3 and 7 you know going back to romans 11 and 7 all right what then have israel attained that what he's seeking for all right the election have attained it and the rest were blinded so they elect they're going to stand up for the heavenly father man against the evildoers against the workers of iniquity all right okay so let's go back to all right. All right. So this was perilous. OK, so hard to do, uh, you know, troublesome, dangerous, fierce, harsh, savage. All right. So let's go back to the other definitions. Covetingness. Let's go ahead and look that up. I'm going to look that up on the online etymology. It gives more you know, detail on it than the blue letter. Okay, covetousness. Okay, inordinately desires to attain and possess. All right, and that's Jake all the way, man. You know, it's to the point where you will sit there and you will take it. You know, you will you will steal it. All right, you desirous to have what another man has, man. You know, hey, the scriptures tell you be not envious of the workers of iniquity, man. You know, we don't envy what Esau has. You know, we understand that that it was given to him. This is this is his blessing. All right, the fatness of the earth. You know, the different things that they have. All right, so we don't envy, you know, the wicked, man. Okay, desirous, covetous, let's see, passionate, desire, eagerness. Okay, good sense, very desirous, eager to inquire. All right, and let's go to, let's go to boasters. Strong's G two thirteen, Aladzon, Aladzon. Right, an empty pretender, a boaster. You know, you want to, you get on these social media sites, man, and you, you know, you boast of a life that you're not living. You know, uh, what, what did Jake call it? You know, chasing clout. All right, you know, proud. All right, and that's one of the things that the Lord hates is a proud look. You know, blasphemers. Let's go ahead and look that up. Strong's G 989 Blasphemous 
blasphemous. Speaking evil, slanderous, reproachful, railing, abuse. So that's what you do to us when we're out there, when we're pushing out this truth, man. You speak evil of us, you slander us, all right? Okay, not knowing that this is, you know, what we're preaching, man, all right, is for you. Okay, this is for our people, man. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the children of Israel, by the way. Whether you like that or not, you know, whether you accept it or not, you know, that's your biblical, you have a biblical nationality, man. All right? You know, a lot of our people, man, you know, they, they you know, they feel in their, their wicked mind, you know, what, you know, me being a Hebrew Israelite, what is that going to do for me? You know, how is that going to help me? All right? Our people really think like that, man. All right? So disobedient. Uh, unthankful unholy all right unholy you know opposite of that is what wicked okay all right um okay three without natural affection truce breakers false accusers and continuant fierce despises of th those that are good let's look this up yeah despises of those that are good man you know you you despise this word you know, you despise a man that are preaching this truth, man. All right. Incontinent, uh, wanting self-restraint. Okay. Um, immoderate, intemperate, not holding back, you know. So you're just indulging in all matters of wickedness, man. You know, the scriptures say that a false balance is abomination. All right. Now, let's see. Unable to control. <laughs> um right yeah so you know a false balance is is you know abomination to the heavenly father man all right so trady heady you know high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high okay so let's look this up get this on the blue letter now you know what we're gonna look this up on the online heady Headstrong, imputuous, um, you know, I was looking it up, it's, it was a lot more than that, yeah, man, but, you know, just going into, you know, being proud, man, you know, you, you feel that what you know is right, you know, the scriptures say that, man, there's a way that seemed right unto a man, okay, but the ways thereof are the ways of death, you know, roughly paraphrasing, all right, so traitors, heady, high-minded, you know, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. So you see that, man? So again, that, that sums up our people, man. You know, in these last days, man, what Jake will be into, the different things that you are doing. All right. So let's go to. We're going to go to. Um, second Ezra 16 and 17 you know Ezra he saw he saw it man he saw the perilous times that Timothy was talking about man and this is what he said all right woe is me second Ezra 16 and 17 woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days you see that all right in the days that we're in now okay which is just going to increase it's going to get more wicked and wicked man you know these devils they know that they have a short time you know Re revelations 12 and 12 you know, going back to Job 14 and 5, they have bounds that they cannot pass. So they're pushing harder and harder, man. All right. Because they know the Heavenly Father, man. Going back to Jeremiah 4 and 7, the destroyer is on his way. Okay. To, to make this place desolate. All right. So 2 Ezra 6 and 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death. You see that? So. You can look it up, man. There's talks of famine right now. You know, a lot of grocery stores, man, they're losing their, they're losing their, uh, their products on their shelves again, man. You know, you see a lot of shelves that are empty, all right? You know, so that famine is definitely here, man. You know, in the start of this pandemic, boy, them shelves were empty, all right? And it's coming back to that again. And of great death. See that? The beginning of wars, okay? Yeah, you have talks of wars going on right now. You know, China in the u.s you know over uh taiwan you know um you know just all kind of stuff going on right now man um the ukraine okay so those wars are here man those rumors of wars going back to to matthews 24 okay 
the wars and rumors of wars that yeah, you have it right now. That's going on right now. All right. And the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? <laughs> See that, man? All right. And, and what are we going to do, man? Okay. You know, what? let's go to. It says, what shall I do when these evils come? Let's go to. You know, because we're going to. We're going to abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust. So, you know, you continue trusting in the Lord, man. You continue trusting in the Lord. All right. You continue doing this work. Okay. Continue praying. All right. And the Heavenly Father said this. Three, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome the noise, some pestilence, all right? So who's the fowler? That's Esau, all right? His snare is what? These jabs, okay? For he shall cover thee with his feathers, and on his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, all right? So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to trust in, man, all right? So going back to Second Ezra, this is 16 and 19. Behold, famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment so the heavenly father man this is a part of his arsenal man the famines the plagues all right that's punishments for you people okay but but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges so you don't even know you know the scriptures say jake you know you don't even know the judgment of the heavenly father man you know you don't see it you don't know it you don't care about it all right Therefore, you remain in your, and you strengthen yourself in your wickedness. Okay, so 2 Ezra 16, 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sore, famine, and great confusion, man. You see that? So, Jake, you know, you people, you're so eager to get back to, get back to normalcy, all right? Get back to a normal life, you know, peace and safety. Right, and we understand destruction falls with that. So, Second Ezra 16 and 22 For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, man. You know, because there's going to be foreign troops on the soil. Going back to that movie Red Dawn, okay, you know, you're gonna, you're, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be horrible, all right. But this is all punishments for the wicked, man. All right, because you're not mindful of all these things. You're not mindful, all right, of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? This is the last scripture I'm going to get right here. And, you know, this whole chapter, man, is, is, is fire. You know, it just goes into it in more detail. You know, Ezra, man, he, he saw a lot. So Second Ezra 16, 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down, man. You see that? All right, so ultimately the heavenly father is going to destroy, you know, Babylon the Great. All right, which is America with, with thermonuclear destruction. Okay. So again, I just want I just wanted to report on that. Uh, this link will be in the description box. I want to say all praise to how about me I was shy. You know, double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honest to you brothers out of pushing out this truth. Till the next video, I want to say shalom.